froze. Like, We're on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm Lauren. And I'm Abby. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Lauren. And this is Abby. Uh, we are from American Duchess. Both of us are from American Duchess. Yeah. Uh, woohoo! So, today is Abby's first day at work here at, at American Duchess and Royal Vintage. <laughs> And we wanted to do a Q and A. Um, a lot of you will recognize Abby from the Margaret Hunter Millinery Shop in Colonia Williamsburg, or from her blog, and or from her blog, Staying Alive. Uh, maybe you've met Costume College or some other fantastic events. Yeah. And uh, now she officially works for American Duchess slash Royal Vintage. She is the vice president of American Duchess. Um, under me, I get to be the CEO. Cool. And uh, so we thought, well, you guys might have some questions for Abby or for me uh, or the both of us together um, about what she's going to be doing or, you know, why she's here or, or what have you. So if you want to put questions for us to answer, go ahead and put them in the comment box under there and uh, we'll see them come across our screen and we will answer them for you. So Abby, um, tell us a little bit about yourself Myself. and I'm going to drink Starbucks. <laughs> A little product placement. Um, so some of you know my background, some of you don't. Um, I actually used to, well, I used to be really into theater. Um, so when I went to university at Indiana University in Bloomington, home of Lily King, by the way, Olympic gold medalist and a couple closer. other gold medalists, by the way. So who are you? Um, I started off as a theater major. And as a result of a theater major at IU, you have to take costuming. Um, I've always been interested in history. My mother was a history major back in the day, so I've always grown up that way. Um, so I started off taking a his, um, costuming class through my um, theater degree. I loved it. Um, my professor, Linda Pisano, is definitely a huge influence in my life. And she, I told her I was really into history and I was really into historical clothes. What do I do? And she was like, well, you need to start taking art history classes. So long story short, I ended up majoring in art history with minors in history and theater. Um, acting and costuming and I had my internship my junior year of college at Colonial Williamsburg and I it was amazing it was just a completely life-changing moment for me and I just knew that dress history was what I wanted to do um, so I ended up going to grad school at the University of Glasgow in Scotland um, with a master's in decorative arts and design history and actually now they have a dress history program. The program I did turned into the dress history program because it was actually a really popular subject. Um, I worked for Colonial Williamsburg. Well, hold on. I lived in Sweden for a while uh, before I worked for <laughs> Colonial Williamsburg. That's actually when we met was when I was living in Sweden right. as just the staying alive blogger and rogue American housewife right, living so in we, Ling Shipping. we became friends via the internet, um, <laughs> yeah. both historical costuming, blogging, and that was a good six years ago, that's uh, before yeah, we started six, American Duchess. Six, seven years ago, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. well before. Because um, you made the red jacket, and like, didn't you have a thing where you like $5 project fabric I don't remember. or something? I remember that, I where you're like, I'm going to do this like super, super inexpensively. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. Anyways, um... I ended up moving back to America from Sweden uh, to work for the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation, which I worked for the foundation for five years. And uh, first started off as working at the Costume Design Center, making 17th century men's clothing. Um, and then I worked as a sites interpreter uh, for the historic area, so like the palace and the Capitol building, things like that. And then I got the apprenticeship um, at the Margaret Hunter Millinery Shop. And I was at the millinery shop for about three and a half years, and then this happened. Um, so now I'm here, um, and I'm really excited. Yay! Yeah, so big life changes, but lots of fun. So that's my background. Um, I'm a member of CSA, uh, Costume Society of America. So if anyone's out there who's looking for a professional orga organization, CSA, um, you should I'd join it. You should join. I you should join. join. <laughs> we should all join it. Um, so I've, <laughs> I've given presentations there, papers there. Um, I went to Edmonton uh, to give a presentation there with my uh, millinery shop coworker Sarah uh, before I, I uh, left my tenure at the Murger Hunter Millinery Shop. And so yeah, now now I'm here. Yay! So, Woo! So Abby is um, she's a, a skilled and experienced blogger. 
She's going to be blogging with me on American Duchess, the AmericanDuchess.blogspot.com. Uh, Kirsten says, hey, beauties, two very talented ladies. Thank oh, you, Kirsten. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> um, so you're going to see, you know, two, two authors now on American mm -hmm. Duchess uh, writing from our two unique perspectives on historical dress. Mm -hmm. You're going to see um, Abby helping me with Instagram. She's going to be helping with product design. Obviously, the research side, which is amazing because she's got all this background in research. Uh, for both companies, so for the older stuff, American Duchess, and for the, the vintage decades, 20s, 30s, 40s with Royal Vintage. I am really, really excited about this because for the past five years, Chris and I have run this company by ourselves, with just us, a husband and wife uh, dream team, I guess. But it's getting to the point where it's a bit much. Um, success is, is awesome, hooray, but I need help, uh, especially with all of handling all the social media and, and everything. Hi, Deanna from Saskatchewan. <laughs> it's nice to have you. Thanks for watching. Um, so when this opportunity came along, uh, you know, just kind of out of the blue that we started talking and I thought, wow, there's like literally nobody else on the planet that would be as well suited to this job as Abby Cox. And then it was like the universe was like, here's Abby Cox for you. <laughs> um, so of, of course, you know, we both, it was like, poof, you know, mm -hmm. uh, came on board and, and, and talked about it. And this was um, quite some time ago that we, we were sort of batting this joke of an idea around and now it's reality. This is literally Abby's first day at work. Uh, she has moved to Reno, Nevada. <laughs> I drove across the country. <laughs> she drove across the country um, to come to work for me. So I'm incredibly fat, flattered um, and really excited for the future because this means we can do more cool stuff um, more consistently and faster. So some of you have thought about or asked me about like, hey, whatever happened to the exclusives? And I was like, oh yeah. Well, it, that was literally just me not having enough time to, to pursue it because I've got all this other stuff going on. Um, I've, I always thought like, oh, I wish I could clone myself. I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. she's actually way cooler than I am. Uh, Marion says, awesome. Congratulations from Norway. Thank hey. you. Hi. Hi from Reno, Nevada. Woohoo. Um, so we just wanted to come on and, and introduce her sort of officially and tell you what her capacity is going to be. Her official title is Vice President. Um, so even though we're a company of three right now, when we grow in the future, when we become a company of four, a, a company of six, a company of 40, a company of 400, whatever's going to happen, um, <laughs> Amy says you love my blouse. Thank you. It's new. It is really cute. <laughs> Thanks. Really it has <laughs> tiny light bulbs on it, like little brain bulbs. So oh, I, I thought, thought those were bees. No, they're light bulbs. Oh. Uh, Kirsten says, Abby, I, I love your hats. I've been following you for some time now. I'm glad you have teamed up. I also love your hats. Thanks. They're like killer hats. <laughs> so we have some amazing projects in the works that uh, <laughs> light bulbs that uh, some of these we can't talk about quite yet, but we're, we're hoping to announce them very soon. Others you already might know about, like the Simplicity uh, Red Dress Project, the Robe de Cour, that we're working on. Um, of course, you're going to see a lot of beautifully rich content on the blog because now there's two of us doing this. We can help each other make dresses. Yay. This is the first time I'm ever going to have anybody that can help me make an 18th century dress. So more dresses, faster. We are going to RuffleCon in October. Um, it's, my, it's both of our first yeah, time at, at RuffleCon. Um, this is in Connecticut in October, Alternative Fashion Conference. So we're really excited because we're going to be presenting panels, uh, workshops, we're doing classes there. Thanks Ashlyn for, uh, she says, love your Outlander stuff. Awesome, I hope you love it too. Um, we are taking some an international trip, so Abby and I are going to China in September in about a month, and we're gonna be blogging and Instagramming our adventure, our vintage event adventures in uh, Shenzhen in China, visiting our factories where we can meet the women and the people who make our shoes and report back on that. Uh, what else have we got planned that we can actually talk about? Because we have secret things. Kind of like so we will get to spend a couple more days in New York. Right. So, so. we're gonna we're gonna be in New York City after RuffleCon, um, which is in Stanford, mm 
Connecticut. We're going to be back in New York City. This is my first time in, in New York. She's been there before, so I'm sort of like, oh my god. I, I still feel like the noob in it when I'm New gone. York like, City. I don't know yeah. what to do. I'm like, there are cookies on this store over here. That's really. <laughs> I can help you find really good cookies. That's, okay, that's so good. I'll survive if I have Starbucks and cookies. <laughs> um, so we're probably going to be doing some sort of tea party blogger mm -hmm. meetup in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, it, if you want to get it on that, we ha we don't have details on that yet, but we're going to come up with something really cool while we're on the other side of the country yeah, we'll um, for some of you guys that are out, out east. And in general, I mean, there's just so much, mm -hmm. so much, the future is so bright, you know. Oh, in New York, if anyone has vintage store recommendations. Yeah, we want to know. Vintage store yeah. recommendations for us to go chat up about carrying Royal Vintage shoes so you can actually go in and try them on and see them in person instead of having to do the whole mail order thing. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, does anybody have any questions for Abby or for me or for the both of us specifically? Uh, put them in that comment box mm -hmm. down there and uh, we'll answer them as we chit chat. So, mm -hmm. But I think we're about done actually. It's, you know, I think that covered everything. Yeah, pretty so, much. Yeah. I Think we anything else going anything on? Anything else going on? Exciting. You look very like, oh god. No, I'm like, what are we doing? I feel Stressful like first day at work. But yeah. I'm still <laughs> things like, that we can I don't talk about this anymore. <laughs> so oh. hi Tara, hi. Um anyway, so you guys but do we want to explain the barrel? Oh <laughs> the barrel. Okay. We'll, we'll explain the barrel picture. So, <laughs> Vicky, yes, we made your wedding shoes. I'm so glad you love them, and congratulations on your nuptials. We are very proud that you wore our shoes and chose to wear our shoes for, for your wedding. So, thank you so much for that. Um, all right, the barrel picture. Um, <laughs> so, Abby arrived here on Friday um, after work, mm -hmm. and uh, she she came with her mom and her mom's friend or her family friend. And I thought, hey, we're onboarding our new employee, like our this first time, you know, big deal for us. So I wanted to show him a good time. So we went to our local historic town, city, which is called Virginia City. Mm -hmm. It's a western, very western uh, mining city. It's quite, it's got a lot of original buildings that you can tell they're original because they're kind of falling down. <laughs> and it's all about the old west there. Yeah. Which my mom's a huge <laughs> fan of. I grew up watching all of those black Bonanza and white westerns. Bonanza and, you know, all, all the John them. Wayne films, um, some of which were actually shot out here. So, I have never had an old tiny photo taken. She had one taken when she was little. Well, six. But being historical costumers, going in and putting on like a saloon girl <laughs> <barrel>. outfit <laughs> or a barrel. Um, we didn't know there was a barrel, but we thought, wouldn't it be fun to do one of these silly old tiny photos? Like, ah, oh, come on. And Abby's like, no. I was so embarrassed. She was like, I'm, I'm, I'm a man to a maker. From Colonial Williamsburg, I'm not, you know, and she said, "Well, I'll only do it if I can wear the barrel." Ha, ha, ha. She said it as a joke, and I was <laughs> like, I do? "You're wearing the barrel." So we, yeah, we put her in the barrel, which is why she looks incredibly, like, joyously happy uh, that she's in the barrel. I was, with her to, I was trying to be funny. right. I got to be a cowboy, and you know what? It was so much fun, and we thought, you know what? I think everybody that joins the executive team in the future, and that sounds super pro, like super legit, the executive team. Goals. We, we, we're a team, there's two of us. Chris is an executive, I'm a, you know, she's VP. Um, we thought, okay, this is a hazing ritual now. Everybody that comes to work for American Duchess on the executive team has to wear the barrel. This means I'm qualified, right? Are you willing to wear a barrel? You Are don't you? want to know what I had to wear to that thing. That was a more embarrassing don't, part. <laughs> don't tell them what was underneath it. Jennifer, if you look at, on the American Duchess Facebook page, um, we'll put this on Instagram as well yeah. today. If you look at the, uh, the picture at the top of the banner and you click mm -hmm. on it, you can see our fabulous professionally taken uh, <laughs> barrel and cowboy mm -hmm. picture, um, Abby in a barrel. Yeah. So we thought, okay, well, everybody that comes and joins the executive team in the future, however big our company gets, has to wear the barrel. We will all go up to Virginia City and take a um, the new guy has, or new girl has to wear the barrel. Yeah. The rest of us get to be cowboys with like, you know, guns and like, and <laughs> outlaws and stuff. But Woo. the newbie has to be the barrel. The barrel. <laughs> you move out west, you ford the river, your yeah. ox cart turns over, you lose all your stuff, and you yeah. end up wearing a barrel in Virginia City. Yeah, so Abby, she, she actually couldn't bring any of the clothes from Williamsburg, so she doesn't actually have anything to wear. Like, this is like brand new, so... <laughs> So all she had was a barrel. That's, yeah. that's the idea. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for, for tuning in. So that's, that's uh, 
the foundation of our cor corporate culture, I guess you could say, from now on, it's all based on the barrel. So we thought in our office we would, we would have a wall starting today, have a wall of these silly, sepia-toned, mm -hmm. uh, fancy dress photos from Virginia City of you know the, the history of our company as terms of like the growth of like first employee, second employee, employee, you know, fifth employee, mm -hmm. every single one of them with a barrel. <laughs> it was really fun. We'll get so big we have to have our own stock and we'll have to make our own barrel. Our own barrels. American Duchess barrels. We won't sit in the back of that photo studio anymore. No. They'll be like, man, there's like 10 people in barrels. What, what are we going to do? It's crazy. So that's where the, that's where the barrel picture uh, came from was a wild, wild weekend in the Wild West oh, yeah. up here in Virginia City. And my big mouth. And her big mouth. Yes. I love your big mouth. <laughs> anyway, that's the story, you guys. Abby's here. She's here in Reno. Um, she is officially vice president of American Duchess and Royal Vintage. Um, in incredibly exciting because this is a, a very, very big step for the company. Our first official employee, an executive employee, incredibly skilled employee. Like you're, you're like better at my jobs than I am. No, I'm not. Um, which in, that's, that's the key hire. That's when it, you know, you should hire somebody that's better or, you know, can take up the slack of the things that you suck at. And I, I suck at plenty of things. Um, so I'm beyond excited about this, and I guess you're excited. Like she seems, a, is she excited? A little, a little <laughs> bit excited about it. Um, My mouth is starting to hurt. She's smiling so much, her mouth is hurting. <laughs> um, and we've just got tons of cool stuff in store. So mm -hmm. with that, um, I think we should probably get to work <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doing all the cool stuff we claim that we're going to be doing. Um, I've got to get Abby trained on, you know, how to put the lollipops in your orders and uh, did some today. answer your customer service emails and post on, on Facebook and all of that. Mm -hmm. Deanna, yes, how wonderful you found each other. We feel that way too. Yes. So we've been friends for, of rather professional friends, in fact, so mm -hmm. cross-country friends. We met blogging um, about six years ago before, oh, before anything, before mm -hmm. you worked for Williamsburg, before we started mm -hmm. a shoe company. We were just these little dinky bloggers. I was this fabulous housewife in Sweden. She was a, a Swedish housewife. <laughs> I was a sad freelance illustrator. <laughs> Maggie asks, Nabs and Lauren, what are you guys most looking forward to in the next coming months or weeks? that we can talk about? Ooh, China and New York. China and New York. Con. China and New York, uh, RuffleCon. I'm excited for RuffleCon. That's, yeah, that's exciting. Oh, that um, Lita fashion? It's going cool. into Christmas, we have new products coming out for, um, for the historic shoes mm -hmm. going into the holidays. <laughs> Emily says, I totally missed the first part of this video. <laughs> Barrels, <laughs> lol. Um, Okay, so this video is going to go on our timeline as a video that you can watch later. So you don't, if you miss the live cast, it's cool. Mm -hmm. You can learn all about the barrels ad nauseum um, by watching this video later. So mm -hmm. Jennifer says, my five-year-old nabs your boxes before I can open them for your lollipops. My dog does too. <laughs> so True we story. we do, um, those of you who have not uh, crossed the Rainbow Bridge and become customers of ours yet, we send the world's best lollipops. They're organic uh, you know, naturally flavored, beautiful, tasty lollipops Delicious. that are made by a small company. We have a subscription to these lollipops on Amazon. We get, we get like a huge mm -hmm. bag of them every month and we put them in all of the, the shoe boxes um, so that you guys can have a little sweet treat that's not gonna be too, you know, sugary for you um, or for your kids or, or your dog in, in her case. Uh, so back to Maggie's question, what are we both looking forward to? So Abby, you're looking forward to travel. Yeah, I mean, I've never been to China, and I think Ruffle Con's going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm excited just to see what everyone wears. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I excited for, um, I'm excited for having the help. Like, you know, we've been going for five years, a little bit more than five years now, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's bigger than I ever thought it would be. And Chris and I talk about this a lot, about like, wow, what have we done? Like, this is legit. This is a real company. But it's gotten to the point where I can't handle everything by myself. And having the idea that somebody's going to help me do these things and probably do it better than, than I can, or I have been doing anyway, that we can keep up with the blog more, that we can keep up with the beautiful photo shoots and all that. That's what I'm looking forward to is kind of, you know, being able to just take a breath for the first time in, in half a decade and, um, and, and know that the jobs and go on vacation. <laughs> yeah. And know that the jobs that need doing are going to get done. Um, at all and that they're going to be done really well. So that that's what I'm stoked about. Sarah wants to know what shoes I'm wearing. 
Uh, okay, so Sarah says, off. if you haven't shown us yet, what shoes are you wearing right now? Also, can I have some lollipops? Sarah, yes, we'll send you lollipops. We'll send you so many lollipops you won't know what to do with them. Abby, I think you should... I How, think you I'm should not lifting show... my leg up. <laughs> I have a Here. skirt on. This is going to turn into a okay. very, very adult... Um, this is why we have cell phones. My, well, these are my thighs and my calves. <laughs> these are my shoes. Okay, yeah. So right. these are Abby's shoes today. They were an exclusive called Noir. Yay, Abby shoes. Yeah, there we go. A 1940s uh, reproduction. This is like a terrible <laughs> video of this. Okay, my knees <laughs> Yes. Let me just stick the phone camera up your screen. <laughs> um, they were an exclusive. Uh, those are the burgundy suede. Mm -hmm. Again, on the exclusives, now that there's two of us, we can actually keep up on those and, and do some, some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Elle says, you couldn't find a better partner in this, Lauren. Thank, Thank you. you. I know, I'm like, yes, this is amazing. Um, Kyla says, I wish I can buy your shoes, but I wear a size 12 in women. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Kyla, we can't make up to size 12. Uh, we're still, um, even though I'm like, yay, CEO and vice president, we're still a very small company. Uh, we don't have a lot of sway or clout or buying power in China, which are where our shoes are made, or really in any factories, including American factories, um, if they existed for footwear. So the size range is sort of dictated to us at 6 to 11, and we really had to press for the 11s. So most uh, footwear manufacturing brands now are making 6 to 10. Um, with Royal Vintage, when I'm buying, I've had a lot of trouble finding oversized 10. So I thought, well, at least, you know, we can still make up to 11, so we're going to make up to 11. Um, and when we can expand our size range, you know, we will. Yeah. Smaller, big, smaller and bigger, because I do get that comment a lot. Angie says, congrats on growing. Super, super cute shoes. I know. Cute shoes. I like them. Sarah says, yay. Pretty. Matthew says, hi. And is also excited for hi, the lollipops. Hi, Matthew. Hi. We're excited to send you lollipops. Prepare yourselves. That boy's going to be a lot of lollipops. He'll be happy. All right. So if we don't have any more questions mm -hmm. as I adjust this, any more questions, um, Abby and I are going to get to work mm -hmm. vlogging and Instagramming and setting up Snapchat we were talking about mm -hmm. and making videos. Um, we'll be able to post some new Outlander hack videos for the first time in several months because we actually have the time to do them now. Yeah. Yay. Um, again, any questions that you guys have after this video ceases to be live, you can put them in the comments box and we'll answer them. Um, we're on Facebook pretty much all day long, so it's yeah. part of the job. Um, and again, thank you. I'm excited, Abby. Do you have any excited. last words? No, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Here from Reno, Nevada, yeah. American Duchess and Royal Vintage, Vice President Abby Cox. Congratulations. Yay! Yay! Bye. All right, guys, bye.